Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Rise of Kingdoms on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Rise of Kingdoms and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Rise of Kingdoms. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, the first thing to do is to open our main browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL that I have highlighted in green. Now, you're able to see on the screen. You don't need to type anything, simply because there's the clickable link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. After we click on that link, we get to the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to use to enjoy the game Rise of Kingdoms on our PC. It is now obvious that we get a great deal of pros of using that emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the Rise of Kingdoms by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. Next step is clicking on that button. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. What we have to do is to launch the executable file, so we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We have said yes. I reduce the browser to see the installation software much better. The installation software is pretty simple. It consists of two options install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does. We basically simply click on it. Therefore we observe that we have here the path where the emulator will be placed. If we need to change this directory we are required to click on this browse button and therefore we opt for another folder and install the emulator precisely where we want. I prefer to keep it by default. I simply click on back. Therefore I simply click on install. Fantastic. The installation starts and is going to proceed in the download of these megabytes that are visible on the computer screen. At the time you save it on your computer, it could be slightly more or less megabytes. The download rate might go at a higher speed or slower, based on your web access and according to the performance of the emulator web servers. Right away they are progressing extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me, but this time, the emulator has been launched immediately. As you can see now, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up then when it gets to the end, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. The fact is that the emulator was already launched, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as can be seen, it created two icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is the one we're concerned about. Anytime we have to start Rise of Kingdoms on our laptop or computer, we double mouse click on that software icon and therefore run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me perform the next step, which is actually a must, and this is to entry the Google Play Store. To execute this we will go here to System Apps, we click on and we are going to simply click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is launched. Here we must sign in. Currently as soon as we are right here, we must execute this next step which is obligatory. Therefore click on, sign in. At present it says, checking info. It can in some cases get stuck in, checking info. Additionally it doesn't move forward. In this case, you could try to connect to your account after a few hours it's going to usually be repaired. At present we will enter our email and password. The email address ought to be a Gmail email and its related password. As an example you can utilize the same email address you're using at the moment in your YouTube account. So that I am going to submit my info and I will go back as soon as I have done it. That's all, details entered. And here is Google welcoming us and offering us their terms of service. We are going to agree to them all by just clicking on, I agree. Then, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might leave it selected and it will create a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. Google Play, form the Android market, is launched by default and immediately. To install the video game, we have to go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on that icon designated green colored. Currently that we are watching the desktop of the Android emulator, we see that we have now here the install game button. We then click on that button. At this point we get the game. Let's quickly click now on the install option that I'm displaying now in green color. This will begin the installation. Right now it will download and install the video game. It may take some time or perhaps it could be very quick. That all relies upon on the internet connection. This has as of now finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this specific option that I'm highlighting in green, in order to run Rise of Kingdoms for the first time. I am currently on the emulator desktop, 
and as a consequence we're preparing to just click this new Rise of Kingdoms icon that was created. Your video game is launched for the first time. There we end up with it. I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the volume of this emulator. It is right here. We have the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we don't use the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two options. That is the first one, we mouse click on this app icon which I'm pointing out in green. Then the screen is maximized, having one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. If ever we really want to enjoy the app in full screen, we mouse click on this particular app icon. And we might already be experiencing the game in 100% screen mode. To exit the full screen functionality, hit the F11 key. And so we would likely already end up being in normal display screen mode. From now, I am starting to show you the keys mapping which is definitely extremely interesting. This step we will probably be able to make use of the game app much more effortlessly. The first task is to mouse click this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to make the appropriate configurations. I'll go ahead and keep the default configuration, though if you really want to change that, you may very well do it now without any problem. As you can notice, the emulator is totally in our language. In some cases it happens that your emulator is launched in the wrong language, as an example, in Mandarin. And as a result to set it in the right language we go there to the cogwheel. And thus here within various other settings, we just click the language drop down. We will pick the language we want, Spanish, Mandarin, and so on. Once the language is decided, we could save, the emulator would reboot, and the game app, the next time we use it, would also be in the preferred language. Presently, there's another detail that we need to take into account, and this is that we will get a message from Gmail saying that a brand new electronic device has been connected to our own Google account. It definitely will question us if we are the people who have connected that electronic device. Indeed, we all not worry, since the emulator is simulating in Google Android smartphone or tablet. And in order to discover which device is currently being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. So we go here to the model option, and there we see that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for the video tutorial. I hope you appreciated it, especially that you found it helpful. If that's so, bring it a pleasant like, subscribe, and if you have comments, requests or suggestions, put them in the comment field below. Mouse click on any of these video tutorials which are usually showing up on the screen and let's have fun again in the future videos. Bye.